Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a super long time since I've uh, made a video on the channel and a lot of things have uh, changed. I'm not gonna go into too much details on that, but as you can see behind, it's a completely different shop uh, than what I've had in the past, so uh, big changes. And honestly, almost gave up completely on mountain biking. Thought I'd just uh, sell the bikes and get out of it, uh, but decided to basically start over, sell all the bikes, including the Spartan, which was serious overkill for most of the trails within an hour, an hour and a half of me anyways. So I decided to start over. I started the channel with a hardtail and I'm going back to a hardtail. Hoping this bike can basically do it all. We'll be able to ride uh, trails around here, no problem. Do some gravel riding with it. Uh, just, you know, getting out, doing some adventures. Uh, it should be perfect for it. Uh, and I got a great smoking deal from uh, Dixon Cycle here in Caledonia. Uh, from Brian there on a Marin uh, San Quentin 3 and the best part about it is it's orange so let's uh, let's check it out so here's the new bike here uh, we'll uh, unbox it it's a little tight in here you can see like the ceiling's pretty much uh, my height um, so it's a little tight in here this is the new shop I got everything set up as best as I can down here um, so hopefully this will work for for making some videos maybe not exactly as good as it as it was um, as it was in the past, but this will have to do for now. Um, so yeah, with the with the new Marin uh, hardtail, I'm hoping to get back to maybe doing um, stuff um, I kind of got away from, which is basic skills uh, training, um, getting back to that, just fun riding on the trails. And I'm not gonna document every single ride I go on uh, like I have in the past. It's just gonna be more, if it's something cool, I'll video it or maybe work on some stuff in the, in the little shop here. So let's uh, let's take it out of the box and we'll check out uh, what we have to do with it. Every manufacturer sort of seems to be different on their level of how uh, how assembled a bike comes. I'm pretty sure with uh, Marin, it's pretty much assembled. I should just have to do some uh, minor things on it. I know when I got the uh, the Spartan, it was uh, I had to do a lot uh, of uh, work. You pretty much had to be a bike mechanic to put it together. Where this, I don't think, will be too bad. So let's uh, take it out and uh, check out uh, check it out. So yeah, it is a bit tight down here, but we will uh, see what we got here. Okay. Oh, that must be the seat post there. Okay, let's uh, take it out of the box. And there you go, guys. Check that out. That is a sick color so let's uh let's get it out of the box here and move the box out of the way probably cut the video right here we'll maybe undo the seat seat post here first and get that uh hooked up the best we can then we can maybe put it in the stand okay so we got it up on the stand now and like i said basically all we need to do is put on the handlebars and uh pedals pretty much Seat post was probably the hardest part to uh, to get on there. So let's get the rest of the uh, packaging off there. Get rid of this dark disc on there and some reflectors. Okay, so just putting the bars on now. One thing I'm gonna check, since this, this is a 2022 model, I just wanna check one thing here. I'm just gonna put these bars on kind of light. I'm just gonna check, see how much grease is in the, uh, in the headset. I know sometimes especially if they've been sitting around a, a while and this being uh, 2022 might be kind of dry in there so we'll see about putting some new uh some more grease in there if needed so yeah this is just kind of a psa getting a brand new bike especially like i said if it's been sitting maybe in the shop for a few months or maybe a year in the case of this one being a 2022 I don't know if you can see there, guys. Just like it, there's no grease, super high ISO. But I mean, there's some some grease in there, but some grease in there, but it, it's pretty dried up and a little caked in there. So we'll get some fresh grease in there. So this is maybe the advantage of having a bike shop. Do your uh, get your bike um, there, but. Uh, I like to do things myself. Let's get some extra grease in there. It's actually not as bad as I thought, but a little extra is not gonna 
hurt anything. Okay, so we got the handlebars on there, got the fork or the headset re-greased. Let's get the rest of this stuff off here and set up. Like I said, I got this at Dixon Psycho in Caledonia. Great guys there. Brian uh, is the owner and also Cam and Jerry, guys that I ride with all the time, uh, work there. So just when you are mounting uh, your brake caliper, you wanna, hold, you wanna have the cable come down and behind the fork. See how it's kind of behind the fork here, not on the outside of the fork. I've seen sometimes they'll run that cable on the outside. It just adds an extra, you know, that could get caught on something. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this kind of loose. Um, I'll just tighten it up a bit more, but I'm gonna leave it fairly loose because then once we get the tire on and the wheel, we can uh, tighten it up and make sure it's centered on the, uh, brake rotor. This is a RockShox Revelation. Fork 130 millimeters, I believe, is the stock configuration of it. Might experiment later at some point with uh, putting a more travel on this bike, but it's it should be pretty good. That's about what I had on the old uh, Trek Roscoe was 130, 140 I played around with. So yeah, back to uh, back to an orange hardtail on the channel. That uh, should be this should be pretty cool. Just trying to get this dork disc off without having to take the cassette off. So I'm gonna try to cut it. I've loosened. I've got the clips off. So now it's just a matter of trying to cut it off. I don't know these stupid things. Kind of wish they didn't even come with these things. I guess if I would have let let uh, the guys at Dixon um, set this bike up for me, they probably would have removed this for me what is another way i can get this stupid thing off you guys want to leave some com or comments in the uh comment section on better ways to get off these stupid dork discs i would be uh all ears here's the weapon of choice these are tin snips and they just cut through this no problem there we go so now we can get this stupid thing off hopefully let me just cut another chunk out of it. Maybe there's a better way of doing this, but I don't know. I don't. That's some, there we go. Dork disc gone. Okay, so we got the front wheel mounted there. I'm just going to tighten up the uh, brake calipers now. Make sure they're not rubbing. So we'll just uh, hold down the front brake and we'll just tighten that up now. So by holding down the lever, while you're tightening this, it should center the brake caliper over the rotor and there shouldn't be too much rubbing going on. Not bad, all right. All right, so we got this pretty much set up. Um, I'm gonna do some little tweaking on it, set the tires, the tires did come with tubes in it. So I'm gonna get them set up tubeless and we'll find a spot outside to maybe take a closer look at it. So all right, so here it is all put together, the uh, 2022 Marin uh, San Quentin 3 in this awesome orange color. Uh, it's pretty much stock. I did, like I said in the video, set up the tires tubeless and got some different bars and a, and a stem, but we'll uh, just take a quick close-up on that right now. Yeah, so I got uh, just the fun MTB Crossfire stem, same thing I had on the uh, Spartan, and some Dighty, I think they're pronounced bars. They might be a little bit too wide, but we'll see. The bike comes with uh, Shimano uh, four-piston brakes, which feel nice. I'm not 100% sure on these levers or levers. They're kind of huge, but just might have to get used to that. RockShox Revelation Fork, 130 millimeters of travel. Shimano 12 speed drivetrain, uh, just the Dior 12 speed. It rides nice. Uh, it's kind of nice to be back on a hardtail. So like I said in the video earlier, yeah, I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but it's gonna be back to basics, back to where I began, starting over with the channel with a more basic bike, uh, very similar to what I started the channel with, which was uh, an orange hardtail, the, the Trek Roscoe that I started with uh, in 2018. So it's kind of like going back 
to where I started. So yeah, just getting back to the simple part of mountain biking, just enjoying getting out and riding in the forest. Uh, I'm not looking to do anything crazy and hopefully you stick around to the channel. Probably won't be posting that many videos, but there'll be a video once in a while, just enough to uh, keep something out there. And I hope you like it. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it somewhat entertaining. And uh, until next time, keep your feet on the pedals. My rambling. Saying basics a lot. Yeah.